Hey, Soul Fam. Um, I have recovered from <laughs> my traumatic experience uh, that I had uh, recently. I guess it's been a couple of weeks ago now. Almost a couple, about a week and a half. Anyway, I have received some information that I wanted to share with you. And it's all about energy and utilizing your energy and not corrupting your energy. So first I want to show you what was shown to me recently. And that is the power of your hands and using your hands in your energy work. Now, if you pay attention, a lot of people nowadays are praying and they're praying like this with their hands together and locking their fingers. Uh, they call it folding their hands or something like that. And when you are doing that, you're actually telling the universe that you don't want whatever it is that you're asking for. When you beg, you're like, please, please, please. And you're pleading with, with God or whoever to grant you your request, right? But what you're really doing is holding on to that energy and you're exhibiting to the universe that you have a scarcity mentality because you're holding on to it so tight. It's like mine. It's mine. It's mine. Now, when we have that mentality, that's uh, a, a level of scarcity that's telling. And when you portray a message of scarcity to the universe, the universe gifts that back to you saying, okay, so this is what you're saying, but this is what your energy is saying. Does that make sense? So even though you're saying, oh, you know, help me get this job that I really, really want. You're holding on to that and you're telling the universe that you don't want that because you're portraying through your energy field a, uh, a uh, symbol of scarcity. So these hands, these prayer hands are how we direct our energy. And you can use these to, if you notice, most people pray and the base of their palms are at their heart. So you are taking the energy from your heart chakra and you're directing it straight up to the heavens, okay, or to the universe. That's where this came from. But you don't have to do that. You can direct that energy anywhere. It's, or And it doesn't even necessarily have to be from your heart chakra. If you've noticed... Um, there's, you'll see some ancient depictions of people, uh, in positions like this. Well, what they're doing is they are directing the energy from their crown chakra, but you can direct that energy from any chakra, solar plexus, and you can even do it from your root chakra. If you, it's like, it looks like a yoga pose when you spread your legs and they're out like this and your so your, your crotch is like wide open, wide open. You take those prayer hands and you direct that energy from your root chakra into the earth so there's so many ways to utilize that energy and also uh, i learned that so when you fold your arms like this it's a symbol and this is more masonic or illuminati to me because look when you look at it it is the folded arms is the infinity symbol haven't quite got that figured out yet on how to utilize that energy, but I just learned that that's what that symbolizes. So there's that. Um, the second portion that I wanted to share with you is holding your energy sacred and, and uh, not giving it away freely. If you notice in Western culture, there's so much hugging, high-fiving, handshaking, all of that is an exchange of energy. So you're not only giving your energy, but you're taking whatever energy from that person you're shaking hands with or high-fiving with or hugging. And that person could have some bad energy that is corrupting your energy. So if you notice in ancient cultures like Japan and India and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tibet, they put their hands together and they bow rather than hand shaking hands because they're protecting their energy. So you don't always have to hug someone or shake their hand or high five them because you need to protect your energy because that is your progression. 
you know, in, in your ascension. So, um, I would advise that you pay attention to this and start building habits of, of this, you know, just palms together and, you know, namaste went to say hello or goodbye or, you know, thank you. Um, we don't have to always shake hands or give hugs unless it's with very special and, and close individuals, but don't just go out hugging and shaking hands with anybody and everybody because of that sacred energy exchange that takes place when you, you know, through touch. And that's also why walking barefoot is so powerful. It's grounding because anything you touch, you're actually exchanging energy with even water. So water is a powerful, powerful, um, conductor of energy. So is alcohol. So that's why, you know, people that, uh, you know, sit in the bar and they're, they're all depressed and sad and they're holding their drink like this. They're literally charging that alcoholic beverage with all of that negative bullshit that they're feeling. And then they're drinking it. So you can utilize either of those alcohol or water. I wouldn't recommend using alcohol as a recreational thing. I, I most, almost everything, everything I use medicinal, I use as a medicine. Um, so with water or alcohol or whatever, you, you can literally charge it with positive emotions too. And you may have seen stuff like this. I remember back in the late nineties or early two thousands, a documentary came out called what the bleep do, do we know in this, and this Japanese, uh, scientist had figured out, uh, what happens with water and, you know, through like giving it positive affirmations versus negative affirmations or playing classical music to it versus, you know, death metal. And it literally does react according to the energy that's being put into it. Um, so you can actually charge your water and bless your water and then, you know, um, and then drink it and it will affect you. So it's not just that too. Like, um, that's why in, in a lot of those countries that I previously mentioned to exchange items or, you know, or, or drinks, they'll actually put it on a tray to exchange it. Like if I'm to give money to my friend, I'll put it on a tray and then give him the tray rather than like ex just hand him a hundred dollar bill or whatever. Right. So understand this, the sacredness of your energy exchange and hold that very sacred to you. And I hope this information is helpful to you. And I hope that you, um, find it useful. And I give you so much love and send you my light and give you my blessings and have a fantastic remainder of your week. And we'll see you in the future. Bye.